Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be getting ready for back to school. I am going to be sharing a new sponsor today which is Fat Fit Fun. I cannot wait to unbox it with you and we're going to be getting organized. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I'd love it if you would subscribe if you're looking for a little more motivation and if you're returning, it's so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. My Fab Fit Fun Fall Box might be the most exciting fall unboxing I will have all year long. If you guys aren't familiar with Fab Fit Fun, they are a customized box that is sent to you four times a year with full size beauty, fashion, fitness, wellness, and home products that you get to choose. One of the things I love about Fab Fit Fun is it's not just a box, it's actually a shopping club that gives you access to member only discounts all year round. And if you want to skip your box, you can get store credit it and find all kinds of name brand products for a discount. Some of the things I picked up that I absolutely love was my two-in-one Reebok jump rope. It has a digital counter that will help you monitor every jump and how many calories you burn. It has beautiful textured handles that keep you steady. This jump rope was more expensive than my entire box. One of the other things I absolutely loved is to receive some beautiful new beauty products. I love this color by Summer Friday. It is so beautiful. And then I was not expecting this, but they sent two of the Our Place purple wine glasses. Let me tell you, this was perfect for this evening's wine and cheese plate I had with my husband. I would never have purchased something like this, but once we got it, I absolutely loved it. And I ended up ordering six more so we could use them all fall long. So if you're like me and you're looking for a little excitement at the end of your day hiding in your mailbox, go down to the link below and join me and order your FabFitFun fall box. If you use the code Lauren, you will get 20% off your first fall box with a new seasonal membership. The fall box is valued up to $300 and when you use my code, your first box is only $47.99. Thank you again to Fab. Fit fun for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to spoil yourself as we are preparing for the kids to go back to school it's time for us to get cozy for fall and i love doing that with fab fit fun let's jump into our beautiful day okay friends we have so much to do today so this is everything I have piled up for the kids back to school stuff. So I'm going to do a back to school kind of organized with me video today. And then I also got some new fall items. I want to decorate my bedroom this weekend and just kind of bring in some stuff like that. I have a fab bit fun box to open and I look at these cute things I got from target. I just thought this was so beautiful and just lovely. It's a, it's like blue and cream. And then this little work dress for fall. I thought this would be nice with um, just some black boots. I thought that was really pretty. But here's what we need to do today. I have to clean all that up, but I don't, don't want to do that right now. <laughs> here's, um, I got some snacks to kind of get us through the first week. It is the weekend. The kids start school on Wednesday. Some snacks for them. I know that with me going back to work, my morning routine is a little bit different. So I wanted to make sure on some mornings, if I can't make the kids waffles, I had some backups. They picked out their first back to school cereals, which was Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Fruit Loops. I got some coffee because girl, you know, I'm going to need that in the morning. Um, sandwich bags. I also got um, some Clorox wipes and things for just keeping the house nice and clean. You guys know when it's back to school, it's where all the germs come. So I'm gonna try to keep the surfaces really clean. I also got a ton, almost a hundred Capri Suns. That way I don't go behind. I wanna overstock that way I don't get stressed out during the week if you know it's late at night and I realize the kids don't have snacks and stuff for the next day at school. So I'm getting a little more. I don't know why, but I ordered three of everything and like only one box of these came and two of these and two of these. I don't know what happened, but all the <laughs> seaweed came. Our kids go through. I literally just, just got home and already three of them are gone. So kids love these, they are super good. I actually um, take these to work with me too, I love them. I like the teriyaki ones. Um, I've never tried the chili ones, but I did I did order one, so they're down there. And then I've just got chips, pirate's booty, oranges, and then just some protein uh, 
beef. These I got from Whole Foods for my son to take because he is training pretty much every day right now. So I got him those, bagels, water. And here's what I'm thinking we need to do. I don't need to restock too much. I did get some more rigatoni to put here. Um, and I did get some more pasta to put in here. I could do some more panko next time I'm at the store. But today what I want to tackle is taking all of this stuff out and getting it organized. So the kids' snacks will be here and um, cereal. I probably don't need all these anymore. As the kids get older, I kind of can start editing some of this down. But like pancake mix, we can refill and just really get this nice and clean. The other thing I need to do... The other thing we need to do is make sure we have enough bento boxes and things like that. So um, yeah, let's get organized. The first thing I like to do when I'm organizing is go through every single shelf and just put things back where they belong. I find that over time I get a little lazy and I will take something and put it in here just to get it out of my field of vision. Um, but today I'm going to put everything back where it belongs. I had a toaster down here and all kinds of things. So to get started, I always like to put things back where they belong. And then I'm going to go through every single bin to see if things have expired and I'm slowly making a list of things I need to restock. Once I'm done with my list of things I need to restock, I'm just going to do a shipped order so it comes right to the house. I have found that shipped has been a great asset for me. If you guys don't already use it, it is a um, app where you can order groceries from any grocery store really, and it gets delivered right to your house. Um, it's a time versus money thing. I know some people say it's expensive. I find that um, to get those hours back in my day, I'm able to stay more productive and it's worth the price for me to be able to spend another hour and a half instead of going to a grocery store. The other thing I like is it, I always get my Target orders from Ship because I end up spending way less money when I don't step foot in a Target. So if you guys want to check Shipped out, I, um, I'll try to remember to link it down below. Sometimes I forget while I'm doing the voiceover and then I forget to link it. But um, just go on your phone, type in shipped and you guys can order groceries right now. As I'm going back to work, one of the things I've been loving is about two hours before I leave work, I will put a shipped order in. So by the time I am driving up, typically the shipped order is being delivered and I don't ever have to step foot in a grocery store, which means I get more time with my family. So the next thing I want to do is put all the things that I ordered away in these either bins or I like these little caddies for things like pancake mix, granola, cereal. That way the kids can just grab and go. Otherwise they leave the tops open and everything gets stale. I found these at Home Goods and they were really inexpensive. Um, the tops break sometimes, so just have to be careful with that. But other than that, these are really, really great if you have small kids like I do and they leave the tops open. So we're going to keep restocking and I also have to restock the other side as well. One of the other big things I want to get done today is get all of the bento boxes out, reorganized. So every morning, all I have to do is pull one of these boxes out to make the kids lunches. I put a link down below for all of my back to school videos I've done over the years. As my kids are getting older, I am giving them more responsibility. So my back to school routine has changed quite a bit where typically I would do all of those things. This year we let all the kids actually prepare their back to school bags. Um, that way they got to pick everything out and I didn't film it just because that was an experience I had with my kids. But if you are looking for how I actually organize back to school, I will put a link down below so you guys can check out 
out those motivational videos. It also really helps with just kind of if you have a larger family, it really helps with getting, you know, three or four of those back to school supply lists can get pretty overwhelming while you're standing in a Target or Walmart or wherever you go to get your stuff. So this helps condense all of that, makes it really easy and straightforward. So I will link that down below. But one of the things that I wanted to do that the kids couldn't help me with is actually getting their lunch and breakfast and dinner supplies nice and organized. There's nothing worse than waking up at 6 a.m. and trying to make their lunches and they don't have things in the pantry. So one of the big tasks I had this back to school season was to overstock all of our back to school snacks to make sure every morning the kids had what they needed. comments down below if you're preparing for kids to go back to school this fall what are some of the things that you do to make it special are you organizing things for their backpacks or do you have them do it as the kids get older I have really enjoyed allowing them to start stepping into some of the responsibilities like making their lunch in the morning um, taking care of packing their backpacks every night and putting it by the front door all things in seasons past I have to kind of taken care of. Uh, now the kids are really old enough to do those things themselves, which has been really great to empower them. But there are still many things that I have to do around the house to make sure that we're organized and the kids have everything they need to be successful. But tell us in the comments down below, what are the things that you do to prepare for back to school and how do you make it special? like to unpack all of the groceries and put them in these little decanters. This is a really fun, easy hack for adding the spaghetti. Um, I just open the bottoms, slide them all into the decanter, and then I'm just going to pull them out. The thing I like about decanting things like pasta, rice, and other dry goods is I can see exactly what I have. And so when I get low on things, I don't have to pull the storage bins out to figure out what I need more of. This really just keeps a nice rotation of things that we use all the time. Um, so if you guys want to check those out, those are available at our local home goods. I'm pretty sure you guys have them as well. And then if you need more, I will link down below the ones that I picked up from uh, Amazon. <laughs> Now that I have all the groceries put away, I am going to start unbagging all of the kids back to school stuff. Again, they picked out their stuff. I want to unbag everything and then I go to Home Goods and get those giant plastic bags and then I put all of the kids stuff in each. That way when they have to go back to school, they can bring those bags home and I can reuse them for shopping. I love them. They're only 99 cents, but they're really sturdy versus putting them in the paper bags that break. And it's a lot of supplies. I feel like every single back to school season, the kids are required to have more supplies and more supplies. So um, I want to make sure they have a great bag to put them in. So basically what I do is I take their individual back to school list and I will basically shop <laughs> in my kitchen and put it into the bag and then put their name on it. I also attach the bag, um, excuse me, the list to that bag. That way teachers know everything that's in it has been uh, kind of marked off.
The other thing I like to prepare is a basket of all of the school items that they're going to need to support them for homework. So I basically add two of everything that they are required to have in class into a little basket and I'm just going to keep that here in the kitchen. This is typically where the kids do homework here up at the bar while I'm cooking. But everything that they would be using at school I'm now going to keep here. That way they have all the supplies. And then I also do a little bit of an overflow basket in the um, garage for paper and pencils and things like that. But I always like to make sure they have everything they need, both to support them at school and here at the house. The last big thing I have on my back to school to-do list is to get the kids uniforms for school. And all of these items are specifically required for their classes. So I went to Target, I got a great deal on all these shirts. They were regularly $8 and I got each of them for five. And our kids are getting older. I usually like to get new shirts at the beginning of the year because the other ones get stained really quickly. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is actually wash all of these and put them back into the the kids individual little laundry baskets uh, that way they can put them in their cubbies again if you guys want to check out my videos down below you'll see how I organize each child's laundry into their own basket as well as every single day of the week they can um, put their entire outfit into one of the little hanging cubbies that way I don't have to go upstairs and help them it's been so nice this year as the kids have gone back to school. They have been getting themselves ready. The only thing I have to usually do is ask them, did you brush your teeth? Do you have everything you need for school? But they've been doing a great job. And some of the hacks that I have in those videos really help prepare them to be self-sufficient. Okay, so here's how the pantry has turned out. Everything is so nice. So I have all my bento boxes and the kids' cups there. And then their lunch pails down here and more bento boxes. Um, each one has the, a similar kind, so I don't have to search for the tops and the boxes. I've got all my silicone cups here, Woo! and I like to use these little forks. And then down here I have their little sandwich making kits, all of their waters. On this row is cereal. I edited this down because we didn't need that much bagels. I need to order some more oatmeal. This is why I like having things organized because I can see very quickly that I like to have four of these um, pancake mix boxes. So I know I need more of those and I, I know I need more oatmeal. And then down here is sandwich making things. Again, I like to stockpile back. So I still need one more of the peanut butter, one more jelly, plenty of Capri Suns. And then up here are all the snacks that the kids can come in here and make their own lunches, so I probably won't be filming a whole lot of their lunches this year because they are old enough to do it themselves. A little protein bars and snacks, and then up here I've got all of my storage for things I need more of. So this will just help in the morning from making lunches to getting the kids out the front door nice and smoothly. And it also helps when I need to restock. I can see exactly what's missing. And then we also went ahead and restocked over here. I hope today's video gave you a little motivation to get organized for your back to school season. If you have kids or grandkids or nieces, nephews, anybody going back to school, I hope this gave you a little motivation. Definitely check the link down below for all of my other tips and tricks and hacks for making back to school easy and organized. Thank you guys for watching today's video and don't forget to check out FabFitFun and I will see you in the next one real soon. Bye.